Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, welcome back to my Chamber of Chaos. It's been a while since we've been back here. Uh, lighting's kind of bad. I took some of the lights out of here. But it's a miserable day outside. I thought I was going to go ahead and chow down. I made this lentil chili type of stuff. Uh, vegan style. Um, chili. I don't know. It, it's not really chili chili. It took a while for it to cook down. The lentils absorbed all the fluids that I had. I added more. Uh, when I just heated it up, I added a little bit of cheese because while it may be vegan-ish, I am not vegan. I like cheese on my chili. So, uh, I put it in the microwave to warm up, and it's hot. <laughs> a little too hot to actually dig into. We're going to stir it up a little bit here. Now, I have to admit, I done cheated. Uh, it got to a point last night after it was finished being cooked, and it wasn't that late. <laughs> I was like, I got to have some. It smells so good. And uh, it is. It really is. It's good. It's tasty. How tasty? Well, I had two bowls last night. <laughs> uh, so, I stopped and got some scoops. Uh, to help get this to my pie hole. The heat <coughs> mm, excuse me. The heat mellowed out a little bit. It's still there. I'm going down the back of my throat right now. Mm. But it's mellowed some. I can taste the taste the ghost pepper. Ah, uh, yeah. Now this isn't, and this is really good. It, the the lentils have a texture. It's not really a meat texture. Hmm. I mean, it's not meat. It's not beans. It's somewhere in between. I get the tomato and the onion, some pepper, a little bit of cumin. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if this is actually chili. I mean, to me, chili is all meat. You add beans to it, you make a bean soup. I mean, some people call it chili con carne, chili with beans. But so, and this isn't my typical idea of chili, but it's good regardless of what you actually want to call it. And of course, you can modify it to your own to your own tastes, and maybe use a non-spicy vegetable juice and. Cut back on the heat. Mm. Throw in a package of vegetable seasoning, or not vegetable seasoning, taco seasoning, chili seasoning.
I had a suggestion. Mm hmm. That I soak the beans or soak the lentils overnight would help them cook quicker. And that's, of course, that's one idea. Of course, you have to think the night before that you're going to cook. I don't usually do that. <coughs> mm. It still hits your head. <coughs> oh, excuse me, right there in the back of the throat. So. But, yeah, if you wanted to, to soak them overnight in, like, a beef broth or a chicken broth, vegetable stock. Mmm. I do a drunken bean, baked bean. It starts out with dried white kidney beans or dried white navy beans. I soak them overnight in, in uh, wine, uh, nice dark red wine. Mmm. It's good. It hits the spot. It's chilly out there. And of course, I'm out snapping pictures and whatnot to uh, share on Instagram. You know, it's rainy and 51 or 52 degrees out. Something like that. Don't close the car door. Go get back in. The seat's wet. <laughs> mm. uh, pet peeve of mine. Um, one of many, I guess, but um, I'm a big proponent of seat belts and, and you know actual driver safety and whatnot. And I saw something earlier today. Mm. Woman in a, in a High dollar SUV. Had this little dog. Cute little dog. But it was on her lap while she was driving. That's as bad, if not worse, than having a kid on your lap. If you happen to have an accident, that dog's squished. You know, especially nowadays with the with the airbags and everything. I mean, it's, okay, she doesn't like, you know, denying the puppy or whatever, you know, oh, but he loves riding on my lap. Yeah. It's going to kill him if you ever have an accident. Think how bad you'll feel then. I don't know. People just, they don't seem to think outside, or, you know, think ahead or what ifs. Mm. Not to mention that the dog gets scared or spooked about something. You're riding in the rain. It reacts and jumps up, hits you in the face, or, or jumps on the steering wheel, makes you turn your wheel. You end up crashing the car. Airbag pops out. You squish your dog. You end up seriously injured if, you know, if not fatally injured. Dogs belong in the back. Cats belong in the back, excuse me. They should be secured just like a, just like a child secured. 
if they don't know how to sit in the back seat and just stay there. Ginger ale and strawberry banana juice from the, the Dollar Dollar General. Yeah, Dollar General, where I got the Tostitos. They have an international section. Um, I think it's Mexican. Julix, Juliet, something. Anyway. I was looking and they had a couple different varieties, but a couple different flavors. I grabbed the strawberry banana, just to be different. I usually have cherry or black cherry and a cranberry mix or something to that effect. Oh, excuse me. You know, my, my cup is, I put a can of ginger ale, 12 ounce can of ginger ale and then ice and top it up with the juice. Probably no better for me than regular soda, but makes me feel good. Mm. Anyway, it's going to take a while to get through this. I got about half the bag down. I'm telling you, it's tasty. Super easy. Just pop the lentils in a crock pot with some liquids and a little bit of spices and some heat. Uh, I added some heavy duty heat. While this was cooking, it tasted, I mean, it, it, it had some, some real zing zing to it. But after sitting and mellowing for the day, for the night or whatever, it's, my mouth is hot, but it's not uncomfortably hot. And I got like a little bit of tear running. It'll run down the back of my throat and hit me occasionally. But it's not it's not overpowering hot. Mm. Anyway, it's just an idea. And it worked. It's it's inexpensive. I think I paid a dollar for that big bag of lentils. I didn't use the whole bag. I used a little under, about three quarters of it. But it filled my crock pot. I mean, it filled it to the top. It was a little crock pot. Excuse me, little crock pot. But still... That's a lot of food. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is. Y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be fandoculous. Mm. If you'd like to check me out on Facebook or Instagram, I'll have some links in the description box. Uh, along with... Uh, similar links to similar videos and you'll find my snail mail my email cancer is an insidious disease folks um, there's all different types uh, many of y'all know my old miss battled breast cancer for many years until it finally took her um while, it's most, while breast cancer is most prevalent in women, it does affect men. Something like one in a thousand men can get breast cancer. It can also affect children. It doesn't just affect the breast or chest tissue. It gets down into your lymph nodes. It could feel like a small grain of sand or a pimple that just doesn't go away. Uh, it could be something that, that starts itching and just doesn't stop. Um, there are numerous, numerous symptoms. 
basically if something doesn't feel right, go talk to your doctor. So, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We're not promised our next breath. If you're strange, forgive, forget, apologize. You may not get another chance. Maybe they won't get another chance. Maybe it'll be you perusing the handbook for the recently deceased. I hope not. I hope to see y'all again. And until I do, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slaunchy, y'all. Ah, bye-bye.